my geese. All right. <laughs> Let's see what what. Ah, they fucking go gay, man, aren't they? Enjoy yourself, man. Yeah. Sweet. Cheers, geese. Can you help me, mate? Sorry. What the fuck are you looking at? You cunt! Law 19. Know who you are dealing with. Never offend the wrong person. There are many different kinds of people in the world and you can never assume that everyone will react to your strategies in the same way. Deceive or outmaneuver some people and they will spend the rest of their lives seeking revenge. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. Choose your victims and opponents carefully. 5 Most Dangerous and Difficult Types of People The first type. The Serpent with a Long Memory in 492 BC, in Chinese history, Gu Zhan, the king of Yu, was taken prisoner after a disastrous campaign against King Fushai, his neighbor to the north. Gu Zhan was put to work in the stables, where he bore his captivity with such dignity that he gradually won Fushai's respect. After a few years, Fushai let him return home as his vassal. Gu Zhan never forgot his humiliation. Once he returned to his kingdom as a vassal, he didn't indulge himself in any luxury. He slept on brushwood and hung a gallbladder in his room, licking it daily to remind himself of his captivity. Kujan's kingdom appeared loyal, but its gifts of craftsmen and timber tempted Fushai to build palaces and towers, even though it would ensnare him in debt. Kujan distracted him with Yu's most beautiful woman and bribed his officials. Meanwhile, as Fushai's kingdom declined, Yu grew rich and quietly strengthened their army. Kujan bided his time for eight long years. By 482 BC, confident that his kingdom was stronger, he set off north with over 50,000 warriors. After the successful invasion, Kujan executed Fushai and annexed his kingdom. Interpretation If hurt or deceived, this man will show no anger on the surface. He will calculate and wait. Then, when he is in a position to turn the tables, he will exact a revenge marked by a cold-blooded shrewdness. Recognize this man by his calculation and cunning in the different areas of his life. Be doubly careful of this person and if you have somehow injured him, either crush him completely or get him out of your sight. Never trust appearances. Anyone with a serpent's heart can use a show of kindness to cloak it. Learn to see through appearances. In judging and measuring your opponent, never rely on your instincts. You will make the greatest mistakes if you rely on such inexact indicators. Nothing can substitute for gathering concrete knowledge. Study and spy on your opponent for however long it takes. This will pay off in the long run. The second type, the arrogant and proud man. Although he may initially disguise it, this man's touchy pride makes him very dangerous. Any perceived slight will lead to a vengeance of overwhelming violence. You may say to yourself, but I only said such and such at the party where everyone was drunk. There is no sanity behind his overreaction, so do not waste time trying to figure him out. Some people's insecurity and ego cannot tolerate the slightest offense. The third type, the hopelessly insecure man. This man is related to the proud and arrogant type, but is less violent and harder to spot. His ego is fragile, his sense of self insecure, and if he feels himself deceived or attacked, the hurt will simmer. He will attack you in bites that will take forever to get big enough for you to notice. If you find you have deceived or harmed such a person, disappear for a long time. Do not stay around him or he will slowly poison you to death. Also, swallow the impulse to offend, even if the other person seems weak. The satisfaction is meager compared to the danger that someday he or she will be in a position to hurt you. The fourth type, Mr. Suspicion. He sees what he wants to see, usually the worst in other people, and imagines that everyone is after him. Play on his suspicious nature to get him to turn against other people, but if you do become the target of his suspicions, watch out. The fifth type, the plain, unassuming and often unintelligent man. This man is a lot harder to deceive than you imagine. Falling for a ruse often takes intelligence and imagination, a sense of the possible rewards. The blunt man will not take the bait because he does not recognize it, he is that unaware. 
The danger with this man is not that he will harm you or seek revenge, but merely that he will waste your time, energy, resources and even your sanity in trying to deceive him. Continue at your own risk. Before embarking on any move, study people's weaknesses, know their ins and outs before you even decide whether or not to deal with them, otherwise you will waste time and make mistakes. It may seem that they have no weaknesses at first, but once you take your time you will start to see the cracks in their armor. The Hunter He does not lay the same trap for a wolf as for a fox. He does not set the bait where no one will take it. He knows his prey thoroughly, its habits and hideaways, and hunts accordingly. Reversal This law has no reversal. Obey this law to its fullest extent. Learn to tell the lions from the lambs, or pay the price.